Good morning. Uh, my name is Maciek. I'm a lifeguard at South County Pool. Uh, today we're going to go general overview of the pump room itself. I'm not going to go into detail into any particular component, uh, but uh, just a general overview. Just a few things to know. This pool is operated, it's a, it's a salt water pool, uh, meaning that the chlorine is generated at the location uh, and the salt is added to the water to uh, increase its, uh, well, conducting the electrical current, basically. Uh, let's let's uh, let's just put it that way. Uh, for a for a backup of chlorine, we have a, a calcium hypochlorite uh, add-on called uh, Pulsar, and uh, and also an Odels. And then we we also add acid to the water, and uh, and we're gonna get to the the, the chemical part of it. But uh, uh, first, I want to go over the main things. So as we remember from the previous video, there is this triangle of pool itself, spill tank, and a pump room. So from the main, from the pool, the water goes into the spill tank. Then from the spill tank, it goes to the pump room, and we're gonna start from there. Then we go over the briefly over the filter and uh, backwash procedure, which was in detail described in a separate video. Uh, I'm gonna explain why higher apart pressures are a good indicator of dirty filter. Uh, then we're gonna go into the heater bypass design, chemical introduction, and pool water return. Okay, you guys are ready? Okay, let's go in. Uh, 
So that's the bypass. This valve, we never touch it. It stays, you know, partially open, just to allow uh, enough water to, to bypass and enough to go to the to the feeders. Um, those are the two pipes. If you look here, those are the pipes that uh, channel the, the portion of the water to the uh, heater assembly. You see the bottom one goes to the heaters. This one uh, goes back from the heaters. And you can actually feel it when, when they are running. When you touch the top pipe, it's going to be warmer than the bottom one. A uh, good indicator that the water is actually warmer. Uh, this is going to be reversed if we're running the, uh, those units into the, in, in chilling mode. Okay? Um, before, well, actually now the water is coming back from the heater, uh, we get into the chemical introduction. So all the chemicals going to be introduced right before the, the whole water returns back to the pool. And here it is. That's our acid tank. It holds just over 100 gallons of acid, diluted to about 3%. Um, and those are two feeders. So which each one of those feeders is connected with the line that goes, you see two lines, and one, two, here. Uh, this is our salt tank and its little controller. The salt tank and the salt controller is actually separate from the, our controller controlling the rest of the chemicals, okay? And the salt tank is here, okay? And by the way, when we come here, we always want to make sure that our tanks are filled. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to go in a moment over the, the, the brief, you know, what to, what to look for. Uh, this, the second tank is also part of the salt tank assembly. It's, it holds water and a floater, meaning that it makes, it, it makes sure that there's always some water level so that there is portion of the, of the salt is dissolved so it can be fed. Uh, in the liquid, in the form of liquid, through that finger into the pool to maintain steady level five parts per million, five parts of salt per million parts put together. That's, that's how we measure it. Okay, so uh, let's see here. This top pipe, this is the one after all the chemical introduction uh, when the water goes back to the pool. It divides here into those two parts. We don't ever have to worry about it. Uh, they, they remain open at all times. The water goes into the ground through the pipes and goes back to the pool. So that's just basically in a nutshell that. Uh, this is our pulsar, this tank. This is important. This is our secondary source of chlorine, which unfortunately we have to use every day, especially on a sunny day, by the way, guys. The, the UV radiation and the intense sun is the number one uh, burner or, or a using up factor, if you will, of, of the chlorine. So, uh, so you always want to make sure you open it that there is something in it. There, this, this should never be empty. Now you see there is some pellets and I also use some uh, uh, granulate calcium hypochlorite. It's the same chemical uh, with the same concentration in just a different form. But anyway, typically, if you guys look, this is what the pellets look like. Uh, I would be careful, use the mask. Uh, the fumes of, of high concentration chlorine are absolutely not good to, uh, to inhale, so uh, uh, always use the mask if you work with them. Um, let's go here for a moment. I just want to go, maybe, Elton, if you can just do the shot of the, of the, uh, of the hour, not necessarily that close. Go a little further so we can see the buttons. Guys, this is the like the pumps are heart of the you know pump room but this is the controller this is the, the brain if you will so every time you get into the pump room what you want to do first you come here and if you see for instance now you see the red dot emergency off the pumps of course are off everything is off because it's otherwise it's too loud to, to even you guys wouldn't be able to hear me uh, but you always want to get here if you you see here the alarm would be the red dot and if it's flashing then the first thing you want to do you want to find out why is it flashing so you want to read the display it's going to say most likely it can be something like no flow alarm or it will say CL fail safe meaning chlorine fail safe meaning well I explained that later all you have to know at this point is that basically the chlorine feeding system failed and uh, it needs to be restored. It's a rather simple procedure. You, you typically would have to uh, hit that button, reset, and then it will guide you. It will typically say one, hit one. So you hit one, and then, and then you hit previous, and then it should restore. Uh, you should hear the click of the chlorine uh, units kicking back in and so on. Um, what else? But uh, this is... Uh, 
this is the basically uh, an operating. I'm going to go into more detail on a separate video operating the, uh, uh, the here the, our controller. Um, I think I think this is pretty much it for now. That's all. Thank you for watching.